Welcome to Physics Can Be Fun with me, Stephen Thomas. Today we're going to look at the very first group of, of organic compounds. Now, organic compounds are compounds which make up living organisms. And they consist primarily of the elements carbon and hydrogen and oxygen. So the very first group we're going to look at are the group called the alkanes. Now, their names all end in "-ain", and they are basically consist only of carbon and hydrogen, single bonds. And the alkanes are mainly known as fuels. So, the, the various alkanes are found in things that burn, they all burn very well. So let's take, for example, if we just had a single carbon with hydrogens. Remember we discussed that carbon has got a valency of 4 and hydrogen has got a valency of 1. There's just one thing wrong with this, and that is we need another hydrogen on the end there. And we would have our first alkane, which is called methane. Remember, we said that ains all end in ain. And if it's a single carbon, it is called methane. So meth is the suffix for a one carbon alkane. Meth means one. And then it's got the ain. Now, what if we added a second carbon to it? Do you see how we formed a chain? Each carbon's got four. Look at that. We could add one more hydrogen just to end that. And we would get the alkane called ethane. Two carbons, eth. That would be for one, that would be for two. Ethane. So methane is a gas, burns very well, and it's found swamp gas or coal gas, and ethane would be a gas as well. Now let's keep on adding carbons. Propane. Propane. Add a hydrogen there, one, two, three carbons, and all the rest are hydrogens, single bonded, that would be propane. Now, propane we find in lighter, so it's beginning to change from a gas to a liquid at room temperature. Propane, three carbons. What if we now add another one? And there we go. One, two, three, four carbons, add a hydrogen there. Butane. And we know that is found in lighter fluid. So it's a liquid, but it evaporates very quickly, burns quite well. Butane. Add a fifth carbon. One, two, three, four, five carbons with a hydrogen on their end. Five. Pent. Pent for five. Pentagon. Pentagonal shape. Pentane. A liquid at room temperature. Let's keep on adding. Now we've got six carbons. Hex. And it ends in a hexane. Add a hydrogen just to finish it. Hexane. Now if we've got a seventh one, it is he heptane. So five, six would be hexane. Seven would be heptane. So these are all liquids like petrol. And if we finish this off with one last one, an eighth carbon, one last one with a hydrogen on 
the end there, eight carbons, and we have now got octane, which we've heard of in petrol. We talk about the octane rating of a petrol. So basically, if they go from gases to heavy uh, to liquids, these extremely flammable, slightly longer chains become slightly harder to burn because to burn anything, you've got to break it up, vaporize it, and get it to mix with oxygen, and then it will combust. So before a chunk of wood can burn, it's got to become a gas, and then it's going to only burn. So the reason why the shorter chain carbons burn easier because they're already gases and they've got a shorter chain easier to interact with the oxygen. So as a general rule, do you see that each carbon has got two hydrogens on it and then the, there's an additional hydrogen on each end of the chain. So the general formula would be Cn, where n is any number, H, there's two for every carbon, there's two hydrogens, CnH, 2n, and then there's two extra, plus two. So each carbon's got two hydrogens, and then the n ones have each got another hydrogen, hence 2n, plus two for the n ones, and that would be the general formula. Now for methane, we would give its structural formula as follows, C. That shows the complete structure of methane. For its molecular formula, we would write just the elements, which would be C1H4, CH4, and that would be its molecular formula for methane. We could do the same for ethane, C2H3456H6. And that would be ethane, and you could work out the molecular, uh, the molecular formula for each of them. This is the structural formula that we have shown here for up to octane.